Welcome to Boston Eats, episode 9. We're out of state again, out of Boston. This is the first Boston Eats, actually, that's international. We found ourselves at a cheap eats restaurant in Ottawa, Canada, called Bo Chi Do. Bo is noodle soup. It's a national dish of Vietnam. It's actually really pronounced pho. But this noodle house is really amazing because outside of Vietnam, it's the best pho that I've had. And the thing that's interesting also about pho is that in Vietnam, it's actually a breakfast dish. There is only one menu item. However, I will say that um, I think the pho is just as good as it is in New York. When we moved to Ottawa, I bought a book called Cheap Eats Ottawa. And many reviewers recommended this as the best place to get pho in Ottawa. However, I will also say that no restaurant in the book actually has a bad review, so I'm a little suspicious. But we were lucky with Pho Chi Dong. I got a number 22, which is a combination of medium, rare, and well done beef. Stewed beef tripe, beef tendon, chicken and beef balls, and of course the rice noodles. I ordered number one, the pho with uh, medium rare beef, and I have renamed my daughter on the occasion of this dinner and this episode, pho beef. I got number eight, which is, what's number eight again? Do you remember? Two. 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 It's number eight that I got though. Both medium rare and well done beef with brisket. Who can, I mean, who can resist brisket when you see it on the menu? You're getting noodle soup, right? The food is here already. Ralph, how long do you think that actually took? That was six and a half minutes. I think actually the longer the soup's been sitting around, the better it is. And uh, I think we got good stock tonight. Fresh basil. Alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfa sprouts? All, yeah, all of which are sprouts. Those are bean sprouts. Bean sprouts, I mean. Bean sprouts, you're right. And look, see how the, the meat, the meat comes almost raw. It's been cooking in the soup itself. And then there's lime, and then there is traditional Vietnamese scratches, can you put? Which means hot sauce or hot water. I just want to say our food came very quickly, and it still seems extremely fresh. I, we've added all of the um, accoutrement to it. The broth is hot. It's like nice, like it warms your whole body. I definitely prefer the medium rare, so like thin, strips of beef more than the brisket. The brisket is good. I don't think it's the fault of the restaurant. I think it's the fault of my expectation. I was thinking of like. Yeah. Mom brisket pieces in there, and that's not what it is. It's very different, but it still is very, very good. What do you think about the um, soup? This is the best I've ever had in here. Really? It's very fresh. The soup has an extra kick to it. <laughs> The lime is very good. I'm very happy. I see you've just thrown your lime in there. Mm -hmm. I need to do that. I was very pleased. The, the broth, very rich. And I got a large, which maybe I didn't get last time. I've done pretty well. And uh, maybe I didn't need to do that. Dana had said a little bit earlier that typically, you know, you feel full when you leave, but then you're hungry two hours later. Mm. Do you feel like that phenomenon may sort of save you? Uh, no, because I probably will feel poorly in the car rather than just poor. I would like to add to that that perhaps that quality is intended because it is a breakfast food. So normally, if you eat this food in a traditional way, you would be eating two hours later instead of what I will be doing, which is binging on brownies. I've eaten most of the noodles and the bean sprouts in my soup, but now I've moved back from the chopsticks to a spoon to really like suck up the to drink all the broth, and I put some of this hot sauce. What's it called? Sriracha. I put some sriracha in there at the beginning and now it's just like integrated into the broth and it's just this like nice bite at the end. I was away from the table for a while walking up and down the stairs with Olivia and when I came back my soup was even better. It had 
just gotten deeper in the five, ten minutes that I was uh, doing the stair marathon. So. And you burned some calories. Yeah, I'm ready for more. What'd you get, Liv? I love you. Does it taste good? My final score is, uh, we'll do it out of a 12, we'll do it out of French stars. And uh, my final score is uh, uh, quatre uh, étoiles, four, maybe four and a half. It was excellent. Uh, it could have been a little hotter. Spicy or? Uh, no, temperature. Spicy, I control. I just wanted a little more greenery to put in my soup. I'm going to give it a 4.25 rice noodles and I'm um, taking out the 0.75 points actually only for two factors the lack of changing table and so Phoebe had to lay her cold ass on the bare floor and the presence of the staircase which I've been commanded to go up and down about 50 times during the meal by Livia so no problem with the food atmosphere all excellent but two issues for the children quick pros and cons. Pros I thought, taste was great. I like all the stuff here. There's the hoisin, there's the stuff that I can't remember the name of, but the hot sauce. We got lollipops, you know. Um, we made a mess, they don't care. Right up above from other diners, head is a um, small but um, full map of the world with all of the different times everywhere in the world. So if I'm eating, I can say, you know what, it's 4.25 a.m. in Africa. And I like that. I would agree with Raul, a little more greenery would have been nice to put into the soup. You got one thing in the menu, you do it really well, so that's okay. Though I have to say, on the other hand, I would have liked some variety. I want the list of appetizers. I wanted that. I wanted a little variety. So final score, 3.75 bean sprouts. 3.75 bean sprouts for Botuda. Olivia, what's your final score for the restaurant? Money. You give it money? Yeah. How much money? Two. <laughs> Funny money here. Funny, <laughs> <laughs> come on, hockey. Come on. I got ways to make you sorry. Start my life with someone else. I got ways to make you fall Tell you all things that I lied about I got ways to make you mad Just laughing at the girl sitting on your lap I got ways to 